Welcome to Spearfishing Adventures 2021, episode two, everybody. Over the Maybank holiday weekend, I was invited out on two spearfishing trips. The first one was with the Frenchman, and the second one was with Matthew Shaw on his beautiful sailing boat, a sailing spearfishing adventure. Um, once again, we were mainly targeting uh, flatfish on the bottom. We had some exceptional conditions, sunshine, 10 meters plus visibility, I will start by letting the clips roll of the trip with the Frenchman. Not only did I catch one of my best ever flatfish, Max came across something really, really special on the seabed and I managed to get some epic footage of it on camera. So I'll let those clips roll first now, the trip out with the Frenchman, and then we'll come back to the sailing trip. Hope you enjoy everybody. What's the story of the monk, Max? Uh, we were on the sand patch and just looking for some uh, flatties. Um, my attention got caught by one of these uh, fins there. Yeah. It was sticking out and I was like, oh, what is that? And just uh, get closer and to find out uh, it was the fins of this beautiful monkfish. Um, we're about eight meters maybe? Eight yeah, it was yeah. surprisingly shallow, eight, wasn't it? Eight meters, yeah very unexpected they lay flat like that on the on the seabed mm -hmm. they wiggle it as a 
like a like, like a, a lure. like a lure, like a rod in line lure. Yeah. And then the fish comes close here, and basically they're gonna open their mouth very wide, and create a big vacuum. Yeah. And then sucked in the, the fish. And then you can see after once they close the mouth, there's nothing coming out there. Phenomenal predator. No. Camouflage and everything. So, yeah. so this is certainly my personal best place by quite a long way. Helped massively by the conditions. Easily 10 meters visibility. And I was only swimming down to about five and scanning a really wide area. Looked over my right shoulder. And this monster was just lying on the sand, glided towards it. Made sure I didn't spoil any of the meat. And um, can't wait to get eating this. It's something that's a really special fish. Be enjoyed by the whole family. I was really, really chuffed with my place. It was absolutely delicious. At this time of year, the plates are coming in and they're filling up on clams, um, which in themselves are delicious. So it's, it's no surprise that the meat is really, really good quality. Anyhow, a day later, I had this sailing spearfishing adventure in the diary, invited out by Matthew Shaw, a local spearer in Plymouth. So we left harbour and we drove a stone's throw to a mark. It just so happened that both of us wanted to dive. We were both really excited about diving this, this little place. And uh, anyhow, the video should speak for itself. Sit back, relax um, and enjoy. We want to get to the fishing ground. The thing I love about this mark is that we all were interested in it and we all just decided yeah. we want to fish there. Literally last night I we was yeah. looking on the, on the chart thinking oh I'd love to explore there one day. Yeah. yeah. And then Joe <laughs> says this morning oh should we go there? Yeah. <laughs> it's really exciting. That's what we're doing. Thanks for making it possible. No worries. Right. Excited Jamie? Very excited Joe. Cannot wait to get in. This could be amazing. So How often do you get out on the sailing boat? Yeah, exactly. Do this. Yeah, it's where we're aiming, basically. So, in, yeah, I think it's very pretty much clear now to bring you around with it. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 Well in. Yeah. He's well in. The minimum size, 16, 16 centimetres. 16 yeah. yeah. So a little there. lobster to check. There's going to be a lot of meat in those claws. Back of the eye socket, to the back of the carapace, 
Yeah, jobs well, are good. Mm -hmm. and we're all right. Do you well, want to just check that spider crab? It's a bit of a, on the slight side. <laughs> uh, your finger's right in his claw there, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're street legal. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're good. Yeah. Look at that for a foie de mer. And the place is, of course, 27 centimetres. And that's 32. Got lobster, brown crab, spider crab, place. Matthew got lovely place as well, so. We're gonna go to the next spot now, as we've done this area for about an hour, and uh, we'll see what's there. Similar ground, it's gonna be sandy with um, some rocky reef, so. And we go, yeah. Captain. <laughs> Just as I swam towards him, he just looked up a bit. So, yeah, I was a bit concerned he might, he might bolt, might go for it, but no, managed to get the spear in and um, very, very happy. Beautiful fish, Joe, yep. fantastic. Favorite eating fish, really. Oh, I was so pleased, I shouted out, oh yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at the oh. size of them. They're such chunky place this side. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> On Matt, so, so so to find this chunky place. <laughs> yeah. Just swimming over the reef and um, just in a gully between two rocks, he's uh, lying on the sand. And I just approached him from behind and his head started to twitch and I thought, oh, hello, he's gonna move. Uh, <laughs> but I managed to get the shot in before he uh, swam off. So yeah, that was so, so happy. Stunning fish. Yeah, I'm really Absolutely pleased. Absolutely stunning. Really mottled and seriously, pretty seriously chunky. chunky as well. Yeah, yeah. Well done, Jamie. Well done. Oh. Chuck it with my other one in the bucket. In the bucket? Right. Oh, yeah. Thanks. No worries. So, take your gun. Beautiful. <sighs> that is absolutely is. beautiful. Just That's under beautiful. this, um, oh, under a rock. He was under a rock? He was under a rock. Oh, What's he doing there? And he put up a good fight. I thought he was going to uh, clip through my gun band. Oh, red, red letter day. This is amazing. Good haul. Look at that. He was literally, he just written it up his head a couple of times and it was like, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> everything slowed down. Everything slowed down. Yeah. And I'm like, bang. It's weird how you're down there and everything just, yeah. so, because the amount of times I've watched back stuff from the camera, you look back at your footage and you go, it didn't seem that fast when I was down there doing it. Yeah, yeah. time slows down. So yeah, all in all, an absolutely fantastic day. Thank you very much, Matthew, oh, for no worries. Thank having you us on your beautiful yeah. vessel. And yeah, yeah, such a gorgeous day today to go out sailing, spear fishing. Living yeah. the dream. Yeah. Driving around to some proper awesome marks. The, uh, place made us work quite hard. Um, lobsters were also quite deep in some crevices. Um, but yeah, gonna be some great eating. We're gonna have a quick cook up now. Uh, cook up a couple of lobsters. And uh, we've got some plates and crabs to take home for the family. So, yeah, my wife is really looking forward to enjoying that place. <laughs> <laughs> Which one was that, the bigger one? Uh, yep. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. So we're going to have a kind of lobster, a pulled lobster. 
We are having a pulled lobster. Pulled lobster. With garlic butter, is it? it and yeah, shallot. Garlic chili butter. Oh, oh chili. Nice. Garlic chili butter. Do you mean garlic whammy butter? This is garlic oh, whammy butter. Nice. Seeing yeah, this? That's oh. I'm just I'm just squeezing, right. squeezing all the lobster job. meat out of the legs. We're not wasting any any lobster at all. Uh, break it up, mix it up, because we're gonna have that one with the bread. Beautiful. This is a heroic meal, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gosh. Yeah. Gosh. Mm. I've been craving lobster all year. Mm. <laughs> I just, I want lobster thermidor. Mm. I want to do, I want a big lobster. That's like white sauce, isn't it? Cut yeah, it yeah. All out, smash it up. Further the blind sauce, and then okay. Well, it's it's uh, yeah, basically butter, white wine. Okay, it can't be wrong. No. <laughs> yeah, you know. no. Combination of the good stuff. So all in all, the sailing spearfishing adventure couldn't really have gone any better. We all had great seafood to take home to our families. But we also had a delightful cook up on the sailing boat. And um, it was a real eye opener to me actually, sailing and spearfishing, um, to be cruising along silently with no motor in that really sociable atmosphere was really, really quite special. And then to be able to do the cook up on the boat without having to go onto the beach and you know, swimming all your gear to the shore, it was absolutely delightful, it was really special. Thank you so much Matthew for, for having me on the, on the boat and uh, yeah, hopefully something we'll be able to do again this summer. Thank you so, so much everybody for supporting my channel. Thank you so much for your comments, your likes, it really motivates and encourages me um, to see this community around the videos of, of people who enjoy the videos, like-minded people. Please remember if you if you do have any questions about spearfishing, you're looking you know, to get any gear, don't hesitate to get in touch with Barkley at the spearfishing store. He's doing absolute wonders for the community at the moment, um, getting new people involved and kitted out um, to go spearfishing and enjoy this lifestyle. If you're thinking of getting into it, you know, just go for it. Don't hesitate, it's a, it's a remarkable way to enjoy fresh seafood. You're out there at sea, enjoying this amazing environment. So. Thank you so, so much, everybody. Look forward to seeing you at the next video, which will be episode three. So stay safe, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.